It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, so the traditional American holiday song goes. But in the world of retail, it never begins to look like Christmas. So, what does it mean to look like Christmas? Who defines it? And who creates it? It's as if little elves sneaked into the city and worked their magic. But before immigration reforms happen, we can rule out the ideas that elves freely crossed the Canadian border and worked for one night only on a midnight to 4 a.m. shift decorating American cities. Visual designers, on the other hand, don't get enough credit for the hard work they do to help create a festive spirit. These people are professionals, mostly freelance, who are hired not only for their impeccable eye for design, but also their knowledge of retail strategies. Around Thanksgiving, classified ads both on print and online will be full with retailers looking for seasonal workers, usually titled something along the lines of holiday merchandiser or visual designer. In retail jargon, merchandising means how products are displayed in such a way that it stimulates interest and entices customers to make a purchase. The custom of giving presents during the holiday season is a source of profit for retailers. Many companies go all out for their holiday displays, featuring motorized displays, two-story high Christmas trees, and intricate, detailed works of art. While others would just wrap around some Christmas lights. For many big retail chains and department stores, every holiday season, hundreds of temps and freelancers get occupied spending an average of 40 hours a week designing, budgeting, prepping, shipping, and building what corporate headquarters have in mind for their store's holiday displays, often requiring employees to work overtime and even overnight. Whereas for smaller stores, or companies that simply don't care about extravagant displays, the holiday display project could just take up two hours from a current employee's shift. For budgets, this varies as well. A large department store like Macy's can spend up to half a million dollars for displays and decorations, while smaller stores and boutiques can spend around $40 for Christmas lights at a local drugstore. And this does not include the electricity costs. Many retailers decline to comment about the waste caused from holiday decorations that end up in landfills after the season is over. But let's narrow it down on one aspect of holiday decorations, Christmas lights. They are shipped to the states from factories in China, and after one season of use, are shipped back to China, which according to the New York Times, has become the number one importer of scrap holiday Christmas lights. But why would they need these lights? For precious metals, of course. An article in The Atlantic shares that each year, around 20 million pounds of discarded Christmas lights are sent from the United States to Shijiao in China. Sometimes the community puts the string of lights into a wood chipper then run water through the debris to separate the plastic from the copper which sinks. Other times they soak the light strands with gasoline and burn them, allowing them easy access to the remaining copper. So whenever you're admiring the festive look your city has and the cozy feeling that Christmas decorations produce, don't forget to thank the thousands of Americans involved in it and the millions of Chinese as well.